I'm thinking of a movie that reminds me of these Tina Fours. Finding Nemo. Or uh, The Abyss. Blue Planet. Oh, I love The Abyss. Such a good movie. The director's cut of The Abyss is one of the best movies ever. Oh, I'm going to have to put that on my list. I had it uh, as like two-part um, VHS. Two yep. Ship is done moving. We're just waiting for Atalanta to swing back in, and we'll be done with this leg of the transect. Great. Cool. Do you, do you want to call the end for us, Lynette? Sure. Okay. Why the f That's nice. Massive really boku. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. So where am I? Uh, well. According to the USBL here. <laughs> oh, looks like we should stop. Yeah, let's call it. All right. Stop. Have a time. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, zero beams on your Doppler. Because oh. you're on the seafloor. Did you just... Mm. That could be why, because you've been... Okay. Maybe the ASEAN's dragging on the way down. Okay. Down the hill. Yeah, more better. Is he gone? Missing. He's missing. Trevor has exited the building. Yeah, sure. The containers. for this time zero we had eight wasn't it um yeah the waypoint is from you uh zero eight six okay okay are we ready for the next leg of the transect back, back row? row is ready yep awesome you ready yeah sure just let us know and we go forward. Okay. You ready for a ship move? Yeah, you can get the ship okay. going whichever way you want. Yep. Bridge nav. Can we have 100 meters 085, please? Thank you. Is our heading going to be 86 around there, or what was the the bearing we chose? We chose 86. The ROV will be flying on. Okay. Yeah. Is this like a traditional eel, or not? That's uh, an eel pout. Eel pout. Yeah. Eel pout. Pouty eel. Yeah, I was on Duolingo for French some, oh, yeah. some years ago. And I think I need to jump back on that. <coughs> it's been fun. <coughs> I've, I've been practicing uh, Japanese for over two years on it now. Mm. 
My coworker was just in Japan. Nice. Got any more tunes, Marlon? Or is Lynette on the... Right. I'm on move out now. Okay, I'm gonna say... Well, no, the ship um, hasn't moved yet. Hang on. Never mind. What is um, that? Because Trevor won't... This is going astern, basically. Looks right. like an enemy. Almost, Trevor may want the ship to turn because he doesn't like the cable getting closer, any closer to the transom. Mm. Okay. Kind of coming like this, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're moving like this. Yeah, might be okay. Probably gonna have to turn out Atlanta at some point. Yeah. I'm on the move. Okay. I remember my question that I was going to ask. All right, transect is started, back row. Okay, perfect. Trevor has returned, and the chair that Josh pulled out continues to bite people. <laughs> <coughs> Josh put that there. Why, Why Josh? Why? <laughs> Where did you get the chair from? I made it. it. Just got in here, so I'm happy to change. Go for get a brew and a leak, though, if you want. You can go if you wish. Yeah. He went out right behind you. Who's on the, uh, who's on the, Melanie? Is that DJ? Mm -hmm. Stop it.
Mm. Not until I am. How far are we going? We're already going. Yeah, we're already in it. In it to win it. Winning it to nice. win it. <laughs> How much toothpaste do you put on your toothbrush, guys? What size? Do you guys put three peas, one pea, two peas? A three quarter pea. Yeah, I used to go like one to two peas, but then I came on this ship and I realized my toothpaste was running out. And so <laughs> I've been doing half peas for half the, a pea. whole, the whole trip to conserve. Jacob? It varies on the day. <laughs> I don't. I don't say I have. A, I don't have a consistent measurement. What? More of what feels right on that day. You know what I like when you squeeze it horizontally, hold the brush, you know, nice, and it comes out like like a like a commercial. Like the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> I never use that much. No, it's a lot. It's way too much. Yeah. But it's nice looking. You end up spitting three quarters of it into the sink. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I keep on doing this so that I can have a full view of my front row fellows. AJ, hopefully you have a good view of high pack there. <laughs> <laughs> I much prefer the, the wave of monitors oh. in front of me. I think we I like should this. make them do the wave. That'd be neat. Motorized. <clears throat> yeah. No, I can't do it. Okay. Maybe, this whoa, 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 Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Ed's gonna murder you if you keep moving all those. Murder. Like that. How's murder. that? Murder. <laughs> now I can stare into Josh's <laughs> eyes. This is odd. <laughs> That's why I wear a hat in the van. You just <laughs> block people out. Why don't you just close your eyes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't tell Ed. Tell him it was Dirk. How much peas go onto your toothbrush? Mm, maybe like a pea and a half. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm at a pea and a half. A pea yeah. is it? One point five like peas. Is it just like a dab? Like you just do like one a pea, the a size pea. of a pea. The size of a pea. But the like the, of a pea. The That's what's recommended on your toothpaste. But it's such I a think. weird unit of measurement because the mouth of the toothpaste tube is not the diameter of a pea. It's, it's, pretty close. Close. it's pretty close. Oh, I'd say it's closer Actually, than it is far away. I bet, I bet you if we take, <laughs> so we have no 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 problem accessing peas. <laughs> so why don't we? Do that? <laughs> You're right. They're at every meal. meal. What about the what? mouth of the I bet you would almost be exactly the same size. What about a corn? Uh, what is that oh, called? Kernel corn, yeah. A kernel. A kernel, yeah. It's a kernel. Yeah, kernel what mustard. if it pops? That's, Thank I you. Think, I think that's more like what I put on my toothbrush. A kernel. It's a, it's a kernel. <laughs> corn kernel. <laughs> I always microwave my kernel toothpaste. Kernel of taste. <laughs> it pops. Yeah. I'm sure it's sterile. <laughs> yeah, it's like popcorn. Like, well, yeah, what if you get a bunch of kernels in your toothpaste and then you put it in the microwave and then it pops? <laughs> what I think if you're onto you've something. got some popping toothpaste right there. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a fun morning. Covered in butter. Is Covered there in toothpaste. <laughs> Cover your toothbrush in butter? Yeah. I use a pea-sized amount of butter on my I toothbrush. I love brushing my teeth. Uh, <laughs> butter. <laughs> what could go wrong? Okay, have you guys ever tried the, like, not traditional toothpaste kind of things? Like, apparently there's uh, that, oh, charcoal that and jar the, of... Yeah. There's the, 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 the tablet ones. Like yeah, the tablet the ones that are actually ones? down there. I huh. have not. No, thank no. you. Nah, I'm alright with the current status quo. I'd rather brush my teeth with Skittles. Good idea. <laughs> I like the toothpaste for kids with like the sparkles in it. Do you get that? Oh, interesting. No. That's like, <laughs> I like I like the shampoo for kids because you get it in yeah. your eyes and it doesn't stink. No tears. Yeah, yeah. No, I brought some L'Oreal no kids tears. with me on no this tears. cruise. Did you really? Yeah. That's the true sign of being an adult, buying kids products with no shame. No shame. <laughs> It's uh, I just find it so convenient on uh, like you know long voyages. 
Why? Just because of the, the form factor of the, the it's tube? It's small, and you don't. It's kind of like it's a. Uh, it's pretty delicate on your hair too. So you know, oh, you don't you really need. Shampoo. You don't need conditioner or anything. Yeah. You can, just use you, that. You're too busy to conditioner your hair offshore. Well, I didn't want another bottle. Is there ever a meet and greet the scientist when you get back to port? That's a better question. A uh, meet and greet. <laughs> no one, nobody is waiting for us. At no, port. not not even the media. No. Not, not they, COVID. They That's were there. Why. Well, they were there to see us off. I don't know. I mean, our operation support team will be there to catch lines and help us move all of our equipment off of this boat. He should be there probably. But. Yeah, Hisham will say hi. Yeah, Hisham will be there. And our our new hot shots of John and Ian. Oh, nice. Are they there on the, the They departure? were, yeah. Uh, yeah, they were. They were the ones helping uh, hook the loads up. Oh, OK. Yeah, I'm stumped on the idea, uh, the ID of that fish there, the super spotty one. Is flounder like a flounder is something else? Ariel's oh. best friend. Flounder. So okay. Ariel's best friend. With these flatfish are really confusing because their name depends on their chirality, if you know what I'm talking about. So no, I don't. So you know they're flat. So they're either flat on their left side or the right side. Mm. Mm. And so you can... It's flat on his right side. Yeah, so that's probably a soul. And flounders are left-eyed. I didn't realize chirality referred to animals as well as just, like, molecules. Yeah, I don't know. That's the... The There's term, probably right? a proper term for for it, but I that I'll term use for chirality. Like Splenda or whatever, one of the fake sugars. Yeah. Is the reverse, the mirror image of sugar. Like the L Which, and what is it? The L and R form. Or yeah, something? left and right. I don't know. Left and right-handed molecules. Yeah. Like your body can't digest it, so it's zero calories, but it still tastes yeah. the same. Yeah. There was this big news article talking about aspartame probably being carcinogenic. Mm-hmm. It's a good thing I don't like that stuff. I'm off the team. Did you guys see the um, photo album I posted? No. No, not yet. The Where? title of it is "Welcome to the Bony oh, Buffet." Okay, you were okay. <laughs> you were brainstorming this title <laughs> I the other day. remember hearing about that. Yeah, is it on the Nautilus website? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. As you should be. Thank you. Mel and I, were you here for the whalebone pickup? Not the pickup. Uh, but you saw it. No. No? I just saw I think you should I think you should go have a look when it's on deck. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna trip me out. What kind of whale was it? It's a humpback whale. Oh. Hmm. Well, and I, can you pronounce your last name for me? Kane Kuahiwinui. Kuahiwinui. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Jay, can you pronounce your last name for me? Yeah, Baron. Here's a comment okay. for you, AJ, actually. Oh, so now, uh, so now you're not blocking me out. I can't, I can't read that. Oh, shucks. Oh, wait, where did it go? Yeah, exactly. Ain't that the truth?
These are some nice photos. Good Great luck curation. on your radiology rotation. Can thank Zeus and Hercules for that. Are those still camps? Uh, white snail. Why were there white snails all over it? It's a good question for Fabio. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't talk about what those things are sticking out of the white snails. Oh, those are its eggs. Oh, uh, it just lays eggs in an upwards fashion. It lays its eggs, and that's it on top of the eggs. Fabio was saying that they've never really seen that too much at all. Oh, it's incubating the eggs like a chicken. What are you cranking on? <laughs> Roger. I want it to lean back easier. Yeah, I don't know how. I think that's like a lumbar thing, but I don't really know. Oh, and okay. That stuff's gross. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm so not I'm so non thralled with like ocean life. I find it all so disgusting. <laughs> that is hilarious. There I you go. Oh there you go. I feel like this is a positive comment. Hi. Thank you Hi. for doing these expedition li expedition lives. I found Nautilus since my pre-clinic years, and I must say, watching you guys having fun working have helped me get through med school. Now, I'm studying radiology. Please wish me luck. The study wow. of radios. Yeah, good luck. That's wonderful. That was a good slap on the ship. You guys feel that? Must have been the Mola Molas. Mola Mola? Yeah. Mola and I Mola nice. <laughs> and here's AJ grossing himself out by no, watching I like No, I like octopuses. Okay. They are cool. Yeah, they're freaking sweet. Hang on, there was an octopus in the thumbnail. Have you seen that um, that Show documentary the about the octopus? I can't My octopus remember. teacher? Yes. Yeah, it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. <laughs> If I'm being honest, I found it a bit odd. Look at him, he's trying to fight us. <laughs> Drawing hands. I just want to put audio over these of like Go all the funny it. things in the world. Not necessarily me, but I'll get my friends to do it. There's, a, there's really a YouTube funny. guy that does that already, actually. Have you guys seen the Honey Badger video? Yes. Wait, what? <clears throat> There's a video that you were trying to sh tell me about the other day that... The I Mola Mola video. Oh. Yeah, you have to watch the Mola Mola video. Okay, I'll get right on that after watch. What's his name? Z Frank on YouTube, I believe. He's actually used some of ONC's footage in some of his videos, which is kind of neat. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what expedition was this on? Oh, not ours. Baker Island. Holy moly, look at that thing. Wow. What are you looking at? Uh, an octopus whose name I can't pronounce. Cero Toothed. They all octopus. do that, don't they? It's like, it's a. It looks like it's the to, octopus to on... To intimidate or something. That's crazy. What is that whale wash movie? It's like a cartoon. The yeah. octopus in that video looks like the octopus in that movie. Huh. With Oscar. Jacob, do you know what I'm talking about? What? Fishtail, I think it's called. Maybe. Is that the one with Chris Rock? I don't remember. I thought it was Will Smith. Will Smith, yep. That's the one. They get along so well. I uh, vaguely remember that movie. Jacob, have you seen the Mola Mola video? I have not seen the Mola Mola video. Oh my we God. will watch the Mola Mola video together, Jacob, so that we can both okay. be caught up. 
same time. We're in this together. Val and I, did you play any more bugs? No. Mm. I was wanting to. You should play Trevor, apparently he's the best. Okay, Trevor, you heard that? May I play bugs up against Yeah. We played bugs. Some more? We can play more. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's all she wanted. Well, and I beat me her first game. With the with your guidance. <laughs> I'm grateful. Trevor, what's the game you play? Crib. No, the other one. The one that looks Cribbage. like Joe. Pente. Pente. P E N T E. Invented in Oklahoma. Really? Z Frank is how this person found Nautilus Live. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That was a YouTube guy I was just talking about. Yeah. Ah. He makes funny videos. AJ, I feel like your hat is like specialized for like particular yeah. sports. Dive Aero chiefing. Aerodynamics. Aerodynamics? It's a very aerodynamic hat. No, everyone comments on my hat. Is that why you wear it? It's it's been it's become very fashionable amongst runners in Canada. So everyone asks me if I run. But I've been wearing this hat before it was cool. And the reason I wear it is because I have a very short distance between the tops of my ears and the tops of my head. So I need like a shallow <laughs> hat. Because if I wear a real hat, it digs into my little ear, my Oops. ear ridges. What about a five panel? Well, this is kind of a five panel. True. Very true. Is it got a five panel or a four panel? I don't remember. No, it's five panel, I think. Shoots. But like it's, it's like soft on the top, so it can like scrunch up without hurting my ears. Hmm. Critical. Yeah. Hey, science. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to come up a little bit off bottom because uh, we're side hilling and I'm uh, starting to touch. Yeah. You do what you need to do, Trevor. Thanks. When will Megan walk into here like a ninja in the night? She'll just appear at one moment. <clears throat> Lynette, would you consider yourself a sailor? No, not what? really. <laughs> Do you have a sailboat? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. a great answer. That's my sailors. favorite answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best possible answer. <laughs> kind of. Like the best purchase of my life was like this tiny little sunfish style sailboat that I found at a thrift store for $50. Sweet. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. You have that now? I have that now. Oh, I'd say yes, you have a sailboat. All right, I'm a sailor then. How, how big yeah, is it? Oh, it's just like a little, I don't know. Model or like sailboat that I you can take I don't understand. Out? You bought it at a thrift store. Is it's it like a, a real it's sailboat? A sailboat it's pants. just like a little sunfish style. So I it's just like a- 10 feet. 10 feet, 12 it's feet. like, yeah, maybe 10 or 12 feet. It's just like a foam platform with a oh. sail and a dagger board and a rudder. Oh, nice. It's like a foam laser. <coughs> laser? Smaller than a laser sounds like. Smaller than a laser? Does it, like, is it boat shaped? Lasers are like single shaped? person sailboats. It's, um. What's it called? Like I'm going to look it up. I don't know what it's called. Sunfish sailboat. Is that like a Thrift real term? Store. Thrift yeah. store. Oh, sunfish. Hmm. Oh, it's like a surfboard. Kind of. It has a little more of a boaty shape than that, but not much. Yeah. 
Is, it, is there a place for you to sit into it? Like, No, you pretty you much like sit on, sit on top on of it. it. And it's like, you know, probably a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little bit waterlogged, so it sits very low in the water. Huh. Sounds perfect. Oh yeah. It's so low right That actually looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, it does. I, don't, where, I feel like we don't see these ever. Where is said boat? I bet it's prone to capsizing. <laughs> yeah, but like, who oh, cares? I it's a surfboard. It you just yeah. roll Many it back. Times. Yeah. Our water's cold, though. That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, that's true. That's part yeah. of the fun. Did I show you the sailing canoe that I work on? No. Whoa! Oh, nice. That's super cool. Come on, go. They're yeah. paddling as well? So it's like sailing and paddling? This one is mostly sailing. And then we have a outboard motor that we put on and off whenever we want to use it. That's pretty cool. What do you do on it? Do you work on it? I. What do I do? Or what yeah, do like we what do? Yeah, like what does the boat do? Oh, we teach kids how to sail it. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. Wow. Sweet. That's super cool. Lynette, where do you live that you have a sailboat? Wisconsin. Still live know. in Wisconsin? Wisconsin, yep. Oh, so it's like on a lake? Yep. It's going to be freezing on that lake. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not in Not August. Not in the summer. Is it a small lake? Uh, yeah. Pretty small. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So the kind of board you can fit inside a car? Like when it collapses down? No. No? No. You gonna trailer it? Well, or in a truck, yeah. Right. Sailing okay. on a laser. Yeah, there's a laser. Oh, you're moving. You're going really fast in that. Yeah, video. bro. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh. I don't know if you just sped, sped the video up for effect. Well, that laser in effect. Whoa. Oh wow, you are going fast. Awesome. I don't know when it stops. So cool. Here Jacob, you wanted to see. This is getting much deeper. <clears throat> is yeah. this the coral cliffs? Uh yeah, we're approaching them. Cool. Not not quite, but well it's not where we did the transect, but it looks like coral and on a cliff, so I would say yes. Pro this is transect line might have been really useful because it might s sort of show the start of the coral cliff. Yeah. <coughs> Thanks, random number generator. <laughs> what are we going to do when we get to whatever that waypoint is? Um, I think we're just going to... Look for a chicken bucket? Pick another number. You're going to do another one? Yeah, I mean, we don't have to be up till 9. I don't know what happens if we're up early. We get to eat breakfast. Yeah, we'll get to or eat breakfast not. anyways. Here's a video of my student driving. Student driver, please be patient. I, d I think you need a lesson from Marley about how to take a video <laughs> with your phone. <laughs> Well, you know, that like video was up to sale. You can't he, see anything. He's like, <laughs> he's driving, so it's like, oh uh, my god. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> she has told me this herself, too. We need a video taking on your phone 101, Mal and I. I am uh, all here for it, all in. How do we change what's on here? Over there? Uh, yeah. What do you want? Anything that's not the same thing that you have on your side. <laughs> anything that you want, because every time I turn it to you, you, I you, don't, get, you get a better view of it. I don't it. need anything here. We can put Herc stuff on there. Cool. Thank you.
Here's another sailing canoe that we go on. We're also hauling in that video too. Oh my God! Yeah, you are. Oh yeah, that's um, that's crazy. Two hull. A uh, single hull, two outriggers. Oh, wow. That's sweet. Yeah. I want an outboard canoe. Outboard. Yeah, like an OC one or an OC two. Those would be sweet. An outrigger. I guess it's called outrigger. I was going to say, did you want to put a motor on the canoe? No, yeah, I guess outboard is the motor. Outrigger canoe. I just know them as OCs. I didn't know what the OCs were. I took a, took a guess. <laughs> outrigger? Outrigger, yeah. Outrigger canoe. I paddled them a few times, and they are a lot of fun. I paddled Dragon Boat for a while, and I really oh, enjoyed wow. it. Mm. But outrigger would be more enjoyable, I think. Here How fast do you get in a Dragon Boat? How mm -hmm. fast do you get? Mm -hmm. I don't know. How How big are the muscles? <laughs> yeah, exactly. How big's the engine? <clears throat> Here, front row. Here's the other canoe that we go on. Nice. Cool. What do you call the the webbing, the net thing between the outrigger and the canoe? Is that the trampoline? Yeah, the tramp, the white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a tramp. That's cool. Are we climbing a hill? Oh yeah. I just learned, all right, Trevor, I now know how to play Pente. Nice. It's essentially like uh, Connect Four, right? Yeah, but it's like starting in the middle, no gravity, and uh, you go for five, and you can also jump. And capture stones. Yeah, that's, I guess that's what I mean, yeah. If we can get a board together, I'll play ya. Yeah. Gotta find a board. Steph wanted to learn Go. Multidisciplinary board. Did you figure out if it's a 19 by 19? It looks like in these images... Incoming bonk? Bonk. Yeah. That aft cam looks so it's pretty. It's very steep now. It uh. looks like they're just like 12 by 12 in the images. Our frog's got white hair. Or like ombre, maybe. How are we doing on our transect line? How done are we? Almost done. Almost done. It's really steep now. I'm uh, a lot farther off bottom on the back of the vehicle. I kind of want to see a Tina 4 eat. <coughs>
This is a cliff. Look at it. It's steep, for sure. I want to go ride down a sand dune. That's what this makes me think of. Um, shall we call the end of the transect here? Sure. Yeah, we're pretty much there. All right, sounds good. End of transect. So I think the next transect will go back to the GB and we'll start another two-part transect just to keep it consistent with the instructions that have been given to us at other uh, IPs. Okay. okay. Where's the JB? Uh, IP. It'll be to your northwest. Nav can get you there. Yeah. Start of that other line, I'm assuming. Gotta go up the cliff. Yeah. <coughs> cool. Where's my mouse? This. The unfindable mouse. Cool. I'm glad those depths are crazy wrong. Mm -hmm. What do you think the depth is going to change up this up this slope? 850? Oh, it's like, mm -hmm. I don't know, 70 meters shallower? Uh, yeah. Let's see if this has a depth. 870? 8, 8, 7, yeah. Yeah, okay, so 50. Okay, cool. Well, I think we can move the ship, zip, 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 All whatever right. they want to do. <coughs> Are those contour lines uh, on the map in feet or meters? That'd be feet. Yeah. Half fathoms? Mm. Half fathoms, yeah. I guess they're not feet if we're 917 meters. That's incorrect. Yeah. I'm Bridge getting, nav. Getting confused on Can that. Can we move 100 meters, 325, please? <coughs> yes, thank you. Cool. They're, they're not half fathoms either. <laughs> Are they not? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, you're pretty close to half fathoms. Uh, if they're, they're meters, they're way half, off. A half fathom is essentially a meter. Yeah, but just just less than. Yeah. Like but a third less than. Right, but that's showing. We're showing on the bathymetry. We're showing like thirteen. Right now we're at like seventeen eighty six. Yeah, or we're at seventeen way, right now. Oh, yeah, way that's off. Not a half fathom. So it's so like it must be quarter feet. fathoms or something. Not feet? No. <laughs> uh, Might be. It's not feet. No. It's not feet. No. Because feet right. would be like 3,000 feet. Oh, okay. Look at this current. It's in shots of chain. Yeah. Or hands. Yeah, 325. Yeah. I guess it's a good thing we're multi beaming this area later. Look at the sunrise and wire cam. In sunrise cam. Oh, nice. Go ahead, Bridge. Um, sure. Yeah. <coughs> yep. Can you tilt your camera up, please? Just get the uh, Atalanta camera in view. Or, you know what I mean? Some the, dirty yeah. periphera there. Dirty yeah. periphera. <clears throat> I want to go up to see Hercules, please. Thank you. Wonderful. Oh, look at this guy. He's going to bury you himself. Can you zoom on the wiggly? He's going to bury his friend. Video zoom, please. So he's on his right side, so what does that make him? A soul, I believe. On his right side? Or no, I lied, that's his, never mind, those are his eyes there. He's on his left. He's on his left, yeah, I think so. Uh, is he on his left? No, his yeah. pectoral's facing. His this starboard side is facing out. That's his eye there, so. And then look at his gills he's breathing. He's laying on his left. 
Yeah. He's a lefty. Okay, come wide, please. Lefty, one wide. So a soul is a is a fish that sleeps on it. Is what? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look this up just so I don't give out misinfo. There's a tether. Yeah, can you come up on Delta, please? I'm a little high off bottom, but I'm also like this, so. Yeah. All right, most souls have eyes on the right side of their head and therefore dwell with their left sides on the ocean floor. So yeah, it should so that's be vice versa. Yeah. No, that's what we saw. A soul. Or, you know, vice versa for flounder, is oh, okay. what I meant, or dab. So that was a soul. Yeah. How do you spell soul? S O L E. S O U L. L E. P S O O L. <coughs> Can we zoom in on this yellow orb? For sure. Orb. What is that? I say sponge. I could be wrong. Brito Star. As okay, Dan would please. say, that Hold looks on. like a dog toy. Dog. It does look like a dog toy. Yeah. It's like Dirk's shoes. <laughs> Rough. Well, those are. His, he bought his shoes to be a dog toy. <laughs> you hear that story? No. He bought his shoes for a toy for his dog. And then when his dog lost interest in them, he's like, well, they still work as shoes. They're just Crocs, aren't they? They're like the dollar store Crocs. Yeah. The, you know, the $3 Crocs. Huh. He's like, dogs like shoes. These are cheap. cheap it's because dog his dog, Fletcher, knew that, that chewing on those shoes wasn't irritating anyone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Fletcher was like, yeah, no, not, that's enough of that. Give me some real shoes. Yeah. Smart dog. That'll really get me some attention I don't that think, I want. <laughs> I don't think anybody has ever described Dirk's dog as smart. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to irritating Dirk. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think Fletcher's one of the dumbest dogs I've met. Really? Yeah. He's just a little, he's just a little aloof. Great dog. Adorable. Very aloof. What is that? That's gone. Bye. It's probably a jelly. Oh, jelly? Whoa, jelly. Whoa, What's your jelly. dog like, Trevor? He's moody. He's a poet. He's he's a poet? Is that what you said? Total poet, yeah. Moody yeah. poet. Real, real poet vibes. <clears throat> real poet vibes. Way Just too emotional. Mopes around. Mopey and then, like gets excited but then is embarrassed about it. You know. That's funny. Total poet, yeah. It's super lame. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, he's, he's lovely. He's not aloof. How long will it take the sub to get up from bottom? An hour? Uh, 20 meters a minute. Yeah. Like 45 minutes. All right. How long do you think it'll take you to unplug the chicken bucket and put it on the porch? Three hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at the sunrise in that cam. That cam amid. Take you half an hour? That chicken bucket's a gangly thing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't remember. I'm not sure I saw it go on the porch on the way down. Did it really fit under the brow, standing yep, up? It did, yeah. All right. I think it'll just get a magnum on the leg and call it a day maybe the craft as well we'll see but okay. uh yeah i don't know we'll stuff it on there and see what happens that but feels like uh, a half hour task and then if yeah. we give ourselves like half hour to get back so let's see nine eight seven thirty Ooh. let's zoom in on this rock please it's you can six. keep it in frame as i get closer sounds good it's six now it's two hours Go ahead when you're ready. Yep. Uh, we might not have time for another transect. 
Sponge. Is it a sponge? With uh, the pom pom. It looks like a pasta, like a big pasta noodle. Look, there's a lot of shrimp in there. Oh, yeah, there are. Right there. Yeah. There's a lot of shrimp pasta. Mm. What does that be? Shrimp scampi? I don't know. Is it, that's rice, so it's scampi, isn't it? And then there's a little bit of sea anemone there, like a salad. There's a whole meal right there. Uh, how come you never get, like, really big noodles? You do. It's right. udon. Thank you, Jacob. No, like, bigger. Bigger than udon? I feel like it just gets yeah. unpleasant. That's called lasagna. Um, lasagna. Like lasagna, yeah, but like lasagna, you like lay out their like strips and you kind of assemble them into like a larger structure. You ever been going through your pantry and you have a, like six bags of different types of pasta with about four pieces left in them? So you yep. just make the big mixed bag pasta and then sometimes it includes like four lasagna noodles. Then they all have never had lasagna points. noodles included, but besides That's, that, this uh, has never happened to me. What do you do with your leftover s tiny amounts of lasagna noodles? We just, well, we don't ha we don't really keep lasagna noodles. Like, uh, it's been a while since I made a lasagna. It was such an epic failure. I've never really? ever made a lasagna before, so. What's an epic failure of lasagna? Well, the noodles just were not cooked all the way oh, through. Oh, yeah, you can't be at that. Yeah, we used whole wheat noodles, and we didn't. What is before al dente? Didn't cook them enough. <laughs> yeah, raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whole wheat noodles are just like hard mode. Yeah, sure. yeah, it was a tough one. Was yeah, a, sunrise on the. It's a tough loss. Afterdeck. Look who it is! Oh, good morning. Good Look. morning. Oh, hold on. No, I don't necessarily want to, though. <laughs> hmm. I've had enough um, adventure with the manipulator. It's like I ran. I didn't even get to crawl or, or walk. Went straight for the sprint. Yeah, you plugged in a connector. <coughs> Excuse me. Good morning, oh. Steph. Good morning. That's like, first thing, they like give you the manipulator, they're like, yeah, now plug in this connector. Fletcher. <laughs> Parking spots. Parking Can we spots. zoom in <laughs> on this star, please? That I is a nice star. Absolutely, that's a picture-perfect uh, star. Okay, look uh, at the sky right now. Bro, Yeah, the sky looks amazing. Go outside. Whoa. Is that, is that for real? It's like that gold. for real. That is that's crazy. Yeah. A lot of texture in the clouds right now. Wow. All right, thank you, Jacob. Pull it wide.
Ooh, look at this tiny flounder sole thing. Can we zoom in on the micro sole? Yes, we can. Oh, I see it. Go for it. That one looks nice. Micro sole. Maybe these are like... What are you? Oh, that's hard. That's far away and small. If it's a baby, is maybe it its eyes are like on sole? the opposite side of its head. Can you get more zoom? Nope, that's max. All right, it's just really small and far away. <laughs> or are they lemon soles? I don't know. We have too many soles around here. Okay, thank you. Come wide. Come on wide. That their Alibit. eyes migrate over? They are on their side, but I was mentioning that, you know, there's a difference between a sand, like a, a dab and a sole, and it depends on what side of the body they lie on. A what in a soul? A dad? Dab. Dab with a, a dab. A dab is basically another fish. It's a flat fish. Different and than a flounder and halibut? And um, yeah, a little bit. Wow. Never even heard of it. We don't have many here. pretty cold outside. Is it just me or did this boat get way colder the last two days? Like inside? Yeah, the cabins. I was freezing last night. I was cold last night. Usually I don't, like I only have the comforter like half on. Mm. Last night I had to... I find that the AC just blasts during the night. I don't know. It's time when you need it the most. Mm -mm. The heat of the night. In the heat of the night. Yeah, exactly. I think they're referring to something else, Trevor. Hmm. Are we doing a transect right now? No. No, we're making our way back. Making it's our way downtown. Like a, it's like a little, little baby transect. Oh, thank you. It's a baby whale. Yeah, we kind of, we took a random heading but we sort of ended up at the coral cliffs just by chance. Yeah, bro. Look into my soul. <laughs> oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Look into your flounder. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Can I please get <clears throat> a reset? Yeah. I want to see. Oh. oh, it got dark. There we go. Thank you. Wow. Sean. Oh, wow. That's not what it looks like, <laughs> uh, What kind of filters you put on that? Uh, this was portrait mode, and then I turned the brightness way down. Yeah. <gasps> That's so cool. Those are the dolphins. Are they still dolphins now? No, no, no. Uh, they're all gone. No wonder that spotlight... Is a dolphin? Yeah. 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 I saw the spotlight out. I was like, what? That's so Yeah, that's nice. crazy, eh? It's a fat ball right there. You could probably just like dunk a, dunk a net in and like pull that out. I'm going to share this with my wife. It's a great idea. Oh, share as... Holy moly. It's a big, it's a big file. That Charlie is a big one. Yep. What kind of jelly is it? 
Yeah, it's a big red jelly. Big red. Oh, we got some incredible footage. Yeah, of yeah. Red a big jelly. one of these. Can we do it again because we're uh, killing time? Go yeah, ahead and zoom sure. if you want. You sure can. Yeah, absolutely. Frame Scientific it as you name feel is best. Tiburonia granosio. Tiburonia what? Tiburonia granosio. Tiburonia granosio. J O. Granojo. Yep. Whoa. Look at its thingies. Tentacles? Yep. It has this really cool patterning. It's like barely like tentacles. Along the ridge, you see? And in yeah. there, yeah. <gasps> Whoa. Lasagna noodle. And you edge. see it, yeah, around its lasagna edge as well. Yeah. Looks like it has goosebumps. I think it's cold too, little guy. I have goosebumps <laughs> too. Little big guy. It's well, like a Ferris wheel. Imagine a Ferris wheel. All right, I got to go. It looks like it's doing like a power away. slide. Oh, no, it's a power slide. Like it's not traveling the direction it's propelled itself. Sponge, sponge to the left. Melanie, can you bring up the last one that we saw? Do you have it as like a highlight? I don't know how to like view immediately like that. Yeah, but like the one that probably Kim took a highlight of. Oh, I do not have the ability to do that. Oh. Do I? What if I push on it? Oh, I do have Josh, the ability. Can you line up Atalanta's camera, please? Nice. Thank you. Let's see. That one? Ooh, bonk. Just getting it all set up. Setting up step for some success. See? Yeah, beginner cam. And then that's where that comment came from. Mm. The clear organisms that are floating by are tenophores. That's right. That one has its mouth open. Did he, that one too. See how they close it? Oh, they use their mouth to swim. Do they? 
I don't, I don't know if they do. So do I, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very bad swimmer. Oh my gosh. You will be required to wear your life vest at all times. They say blow bubbles, so that's what I do. I propel myself forward with <laughs> bubbles. That's one way to do it. What kind of fish is that? Where? Nearing the lasers. The one swimming behind it? Mm-hmm. That's a sable fish. Sable fish. Another fish. The one to the right? Below the, uh, yeah, to the right, below the lasers. Oh, that, yeah. Wow, what is all this stuff here? Some, yeah. Whoa, that's super cool. Is that a hydrate mount? Could be. There's some white stuff. I mean, we're pretty close to the IP. Maybe, yeah. maybe this is a hydrate. This could mount. be. Uh, this could be like the Wally Land cliff. Yeah. That's sweet. Mm -hmm.
Oh, there's the platform. There's the bucket, actually. That's the chicken bucket we're going to collect later. Well done, staff. Hmm. Oh, we know where it is. Mm -hmm. What are we doing yeah, here? Yeah, fun. So we're going to do another mini transect because uh, we have some time to kill. So we're going to set um, from the IP, we're going to set a course at 299, Kay. bearing 299 for 500 meters. Kay. And There's we'll Colonel Sanders. see if we collect it. We'll, we'll see if we finish it. Kay. But we Roger. can mark this on nav because we're going to have to come back here. Although I guess if the ship's heading changes, then uh, it might get all. All bets are off. That's right. No betting. Yeah, you can follow the cable back to the IP. That'd be one way to do it. Whoop. I love it. I'm going to the IP? I just took a, a couple. Yep. I got the student driver from behind, but now I got a better one. I don't. Can you zoom in the fish, please? I'm gonna fly by. What kind of fish. fish is it? What kind of fish? That is a sable fish. Sable fish. Uh oh, some other fish raised a lot of dust. Let's go. Definitely was me. <laughs> Did you get my message? On WhatsApp? Oh, Wally Land. Oh, yeah. There's the markers. This is Look Wally Land. Don't land in Wally Land. There's a should suspended I, cable. Should I follow the suspended cable? There's no suspended cable. No, Wally's in the shop. Hmm. Only slightly suspended. Should I follow this cable? Wally's suspended on blocks. Yeah. I mean, I imagine most cables lead to the IP. I could look it up and tell you. All cables lead to something. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun back there, Dave. <laughs> this is where do you think the IP is? This is like the cliff there? that we did not want to drive Wally off of. <laughs> Roger. So I'm going to just not go this way and instead go 
That Over is here. such a cliff, wow. Very understandable. You don't think Wally could have handled it? No. Come on. All, all 60 pounds in water, not a lot of traction. Well, he does have some beefy treads on him. Four low and pin it, no problem. Hard to pick up a sonar target in this landscape. Especially because I'm four meters off bottom. What is this? There's a cable. Cable. Left or right? What do you guess? Uh, what direction are you facing? Uh, Northish. Three thirty Northish, and north -ish. it's yellow. Left. Left, he says. Wakey, wakey. Hey, there yeah. we are. That's a CTD monument yeah. and an IP. Mm -hmm. So when we get set up here, we're going to start our transit yeah. going which way? It does. Uh, to, what was it? 299. And Two we'll just go nine for half nine. an hour, and then we'll turn around and come back. Roger. And then we'll get on with it. On with it. Okay. Oh boy, am I? Yeah, give her. Oh, we do a cable survey at the same time. Look at this not back coiled, flat coiled uh, cable. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, we were doing that transects with downlight on. Is that right? Okay. Downlight is on. Camera is at a constant angle. Why is it retracted? That doesn't make any sense. Do we want this? Uh, as down as we can get without seeing the porch. Probably yeah, we, want those prongs out of the way. Yeah, we yeah, had the prongs in the camera view, and then we just zoomed past them. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was like the yeah, reference. We're, we're already zoomed past, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to get the heading to the one you want instead of a different one. Yeah, yeah I mean, that would work. There you go. That's enough. And... Uh, Sure. I was flying around like a jerk. I don't right know. Steph now, made it look know. really easy, Current. so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Current, maybe. I was really enjoying the snail trail tracks there. The ones that Trevor was doing? No, the ones that Steph was doing. Oh. <laughs> it looks like you're sniffing the flowers a lot. Mm. I don't know if that does anything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Sean gave cool. it a try too. I gave it a try, yeah. Yeah. Ship's yeah. on the go. Roger that. Um, I think I went pretty straight, more or less. Let's do the old... I struggled. This I for sure would like get hit by the current and then do like that and then we get going again. <laughs> Has the transect begun? Uh soft yes. Is the ship is that Atlanta moving? 
Adeland is just starting. Herc's okay. just starting. So like, no. How about how about no? It's no. Okay. How about no? Yeah. It's so really calm soft, outside. Yes. Ooh, not that button. Yeah, I gotta get her dialed in before we say <laughs> we're on the go. Some Legos on the ground. Can I get there. a reset, please? Legos. Yeah. Lego my ego. Thank you. Oh, I hope we got waffles for breakfast. Dude, oh, me too. Such a waffle mood, yeah? Yeah. Waffle mood. How do you know? I hope, no, I hope there's waffles too. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought you said we are getting waffles. No, I said me too. Oh, me too. Lego my ego. I heard we do. We do get waffles for breakfast. <laughs> we this do. This looks like a survey start. Should we call it? Let's Heck do yeah. It. Let's do it. All right, survey start. Okay. Survey start. Survey start cable. Note that in the log. Uh, yeah, what's our heading? Is there anything that's going to pop out at us? No. Hopefully. No. Mm -hmm. We're safe. Safe heading. Suspended cables. Whoa, cables. Yes. That looks like an old one. Yeah, if we want to be up by 9, setting an ascending at 8, which means we should get to the chicken bucket for 7.30. So we'll go till 7, and then we'll turn around. That means we'll be late coming back. Or a half hour out, half hour back. Yeah, because we've already started the move right now. Just, I don't know, it, probably not that much, but just consider that. Yeah, but it only takes 45 minutes to the surface, so we have 15 minutes of buffer. Roger that. Feels like doing a 20 minute transect is just not worth it. <laughs> yeah, Roger. Random heading. I think that's the best one yet. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like it. Far and above the best one. Yeah. It's got sound, it's got shapes and it's got good feel. Like it's all in. One stop shop. Yeah. you on there? Yeah, she's on. Oh. Um, we we're talking about keeping Herc centered in Atalanta view, but that's like a, that's a false thing to rely on. Uh, Josh set the Atalanta camera up so it was looking at the spot that you want it to be, uh. but it often isn't right. So like, you know, we're busy with doing something else or managing tether or whatever. So you can't always fly by Atalanta. So you'll see people like see us like this, and this is fine. This is happy, but just because of the way Atalanta is facing. Yeah. Bridge nav. Can we have another 100 meters, three zero zero, please? Thank you. That looks like a. Crinoid of some sort. Can you hear me, Steph? Not really. I can oh. barely hear anyone. Can you, you turn can your turn volume up? Oh, your yeah. Volume. Turn your volume on. Oh, I thought you do volume. that here. Oh my god. Well, there's oh. also just this main volume. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Trevor, I kind of caught that, but something about Atalanta camera. Too yeah. late. It's okay. gone. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying that Atalanta camera is not always set up to point in the direction that you can fly Herc. Oh, okay. Relying yeah. on it. Yeah, we set it up as another kind of easier way to look, easy way to know what you're doing. For that, uh, I don't know, it's a good thing, a good place to start because it's easy to see where you actually are. But 
oftentimes you don't get that view. Right. Some dark lots patches here. Lots of stocked crinoids. Or yeah. maybe not. I don't know. No, I think they, they might be. Yeah, they definitely might be. It's a hagfish. Yuck. I'm trying to help Andrew out on shore because he doesn't know his biology too well. That's a sea cucumber. Andrew who? Drew. Oh, Drew. Oh, Drew. Hey, who Drew? calls Drew Andrew? Hey, Drew. I do when I see his name on text form. It's like there can be like, no other Andrews. Yeah. And Drew agrees. Andrew's a terrible name. That's why we change it. <laughs> <laughs> what does J stand for? Jared. Mm. When, how old were you when you went by AJ? One minute. Really? Immediately? Yeah, my parents have always called me AJ. Hmm. As far back as I can remember. This is a cliff. Neat. Step up. Yeah, there are a few of those around here. Warden. Yeah. What's your delta? Oh, Drew responded I am. through chat. <laughs> <laughs> How have I not hit ground yet? I'm just... Shocked. Wow, okay, yeah. Neat. Maybe Drew knows. Are those dark spots hydrate patches? Oh, here's an incoming bonk. Big bonk coming up. Oh, <laughs> holy moly. Oh, wow, bonk. Yeah. Sorry. No, don't apologize. How do, you, how do, you <laughs> do not hit the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you avoid that? I mean, slow down. Manually, manually fly it. Yeah. yeah. Do my job. <laughs> do your job. Don't just <laughs> prop just the sticks. Fly into stuff. <laughs> in a direction with some tape. Lean this shoe against the stick yeah. to hold it in spot, yeah. Yeah, neat. Cliff located. It's right there. Cliff passed. Steep hill. That's a pretty cute star. Yeah, here. it is. I rewatched. Uh, oh, Mama Mia. Oh, what's the movie? What's the movie with Harley Quinn? Suicide Squad? Yes. yes. Oh, Have you yeah. seen the second one? No. Maybe. Uh, the the big evil monster in the second one is a giant starfish. Oh, and yeah. And once you watch it, you can't yes. like, unsee it. Yeah, now I remember. That was so funny. <laughs> I like the director of those movies, James Gunn. They're funny. I mean, they are what they are. You kind of yeah. know what you're getting into. Well, I don't know. He kind of came up with the whole like Marvel kind of pun type movies. Like they don't take themselves seriously. Did he do Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, he did. Okay, I like that one a lot. Yeah, me too. It seems like all the other Marvel movies are kind of just imitating his style after that. Yeah, that one did really well. Yeah. What do you think? Are we going to make it to uh, the target by the time? Oh, uh, we got a shot at it. Maybe. Looks like we're a third of the way there, and it's taken us a third of the time. That math checks out. Depends how many more cliffs we bump into. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No. <laughs> no more. No more cliffs. That thing is nothing. I don't know what that is. The white kelp. thing? Just looks like kelp, yeah. Could be kelp. Sunken kelp. All the brown stuff. Sequestered carbon. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yet to be determined. That's what the experiment's for. Running tide. Running tide. That's not being done here, is it? Barkley? Uh, no, that's the Cascadia yeah. East. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I saw some, like, actual kelp at Cascadia, and I was wondering, like, wow, that's awfully deep for kelp to be. I guess that's right. Like, this isn't as, I keep forgetting that we're, like, moving around. This is not nearly as deep as Cascadia, so that's why we're seeing kelp around. Yeah. Uh, it's not shallow, 830 meters. No, it's not, but compared to some of our other sites, it is. <laughs> it's definitely deep compared to MTC. Yeah, it's deeper than MTC. <laughs> yeah, deeper than the test tank. Yeah. You're doing more than I am. I figured out that riddle, by the way. Oh, I haven't even been thinking about it. Oh, what uh, riddle? Really? Steph figured it out, eh? Did Steph, too? Yeah. You figured it out, too? All right. Okay. Don't tell me. I'll spend some time thinking about it. <laughs> what's, the, what's the riddle? Uh, okay. Oh, I'll, I'll no, try my I best to recreate to it. it. Well, don't, don't um, ruin it for me, though. So? I'm going to go off comms. So there are four prisoners. Don't, don't reveal the answer. Yeah, there are four I know, but if he okay. messes it up, telling you. I don't know. There are four right. I'm not going to say the solution. I'm just right. going to pose yeah, the riddle. I don't want the solution. Okay. Um, okay, so there are four prisoners, and uh, there's like some security guard. <laughs> and uh, the security guard wants to play a game. He says, hey, if you can guess the color of 
the hat on any of your heads, we'll set you free. Um, but the catch is they're blindfolded and they can't communicate with each other. And um, they're not blindfolded. Are are they not blindfolded? Well, uh, they're blindfolded, blindfolded until initially. they get oh, okay. Okay. set up. Okay. Okay. I'll let so, you tell it. Yeah. <laughs> so the setup is they're in two cells. And so three of them are in one cell. One of them is in the other cell. They're both facing a wall, like on either side. So the guy that's by himself is just facing a wall. There's no one else there. The other three are situated in a line so that um, you know, the guy in the very front's facing the wall. The guy in the middle is uh, just seeing the guy in front of him. And then the guy at the very back sees both. Um, what, a, so, what a weird... Uh, yeah, I know. Okay. It's a weird situation. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, this uh, the security guard puts hats on all of them. And there's going to be two colors of hats, black and white. And he puts it in an order that he's really confident that they won't be able to guess what color of hat they have on their head. So the order is, um, so for the one guy on the side of the cell by himself, he has like, I don't know, white color on his hat. And then the on the other side, I believe it's, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Steph, I think it's black, white, black. Yeah. Where the yeah. middle person has white? Yeah, middle person has white. So they have 10 seconds to guess what color of hat they have on their head. If they guess wrong, they die. Whoa. 10 seconds Hi is the eggs. challenge. Only yeah. one of them has to guess. Oh, yeah, only one of them has to guess. Correctly. Yeah. But, you know, they have to be confident in their guess. And they don't get, if they get it wrong, they and die. If they get it wrong, they die. Forward, High stakes. Right? They can only see the hat in front of them. Yes, yeah. They can't see their own hats, but... They can't see the hat behind them. No, they can't see the hats behind them. And they can't ask anyone anything. And they no can't, communication. No communication. One person gets one guess to save them all. Either they guess right or they guess wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, the question is, like, who out of the four prisoners can guess correctly? which mm. color of hat they have. Mm. I think I'm going to... Okay. Sounds good. Let me think on that for a bit. <clears throat> what kind of instrument... Oh. What kind of instrument is the chicken bucket? The chicken bucket is a rotary sonar. So it's a sonar similar to the one that's on uh, Hercules in that it, you know, um, emits a signal and receives a response. And it pans similar to a, a sonar that you'd find on a boat or on a ROV. Um, and it's calibrated to search for hydrate bubbles. I got it. Already? Oh, wow, that was incredibly oh, fast. Wow. Let yeah, me sir. make sure I'm understanding Thank the you, criteria. AJ. No spoiler. Sure. Um, to, for everyone to live, one prisoner has to guess the color of the hat on their own head. It can be any prisoner, yeah. Any prisoner has to guess the color of the hat on their own head. Yeah. So you can, obviously, if you can see it, you'll guess that person. But you can't see your own hat, and you have to guess the color of your own hat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Don't say it. I'm gonna be super embarrassed. I'm the only one who doesn't get this riddle. I feel like it really anchored the it. riddle solving for the other riddle. I <laughs> yeah, you did. I, do a good I job struggle with this one. one. Do the prisoners know that there's two and two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're they're aware. They're aware of, of the number of the total number of hats and what color. Hats. Okay. Yeah.
Getting steeper. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I don't know if those are crinoids. Not sure. Yeah, up close they don't look crinoidy. They look more. They kind of look almost. I don't know what. Even. I don't know. I'm really bad at at these kind of stocked organisms. Bad at corals. Bad at crinoids. What's your specialty? Oh, what that was that? Me. Yeah. That wasn't me. So, oh, that's a yeah, there's something down That's there. a big one. It's like a. Mm -hmm. It was like. It was one of those souls. Could have been a turbot. I don't know. Kind of like a puffer fish. Do we have puffer fishes? <laughs> no, I don't think we have them. That's disappointing. I know they're so fun. All right, can we end the transect here? Um, yeah, we have about 30 meters left on this move if you want to finish it out. Uh, okay, fine. I mean, we won't make it to our target. <laughs> that, w that would get us about 400 meters total. All right. Hmm? Yeah, it was yeah. Cut, cut down to 25. Well, we can go another... Five minutes. Five meters, Roger. Get these away. You want more? No, I'm good. You want Thank more? You. you want more? Thanks. Thanks. What are those? Are they like white? Are these yours? Oh. First time we didn't bring the snacks. Okay, we're pretty much done with that ship move. We should probably end it here then, or? Yeah, that's we what I'm thinking. We Thanks. can swing another. Oh, okay, hold on. Minute and a half, two minutes. Yeah. Do we want to? You just want to let it swing in? Mm -hmm. If you're really concerned about time, AJ, we can start the ship moving back already before we end the transect. And just go until we can't go anymore and call it good there. Yeah, I'm good with that. I mean, once we start seeing a change in Herc's heading or speed, we'll just end it. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. Bridge and Nav. Can we have 100 meters 130, please? Thank you. <laughs> Snail trail. Trying to get as much science as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maximum science. Then I'll play catch up.
I think we're almost at the end here. Starting to feel a little bit of tugging, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you call it, Trev. Okay. Yeah, I can't make it to the waypoint, rats. All right, I'm gonna call it there. Okay. 135937. Now I'm gonna afterburners it. Now, can we get an actual position for the end of the transect since we didn't make it to our. <coughs> wow, we gained elevation. Heck yeah, we did. Remember those cliff bunks? I wasn't kidding. Mm -hmm. All right, coming back. Thanks, Nab. Can you remind me what that bearing was, please? Uh, 130. Thank you. Yep. <coughs> hey, Josh, can you come around to uh, port, please? I think that was my fault. I think I whipped you around and you did a full lap. We got a two half wraps. You can come down to Delta too. Super far under. Hey. Morning. Hey. Good. How you doing? Right now we're on our way back to the chicken bucket, right? Yes. Yep. We just finished a bunch of transects. And now on our way to the chicken bucket where we will retrieve it and bring it back to the surface. And then uh, that ends this dive. Soon after finishing this dive, we're going to turn the vehicles around, I think. And then we're going to go for one more dive-ish. I think that's right. I think it'll be our last dive. Yeah, next dive will be our last. And then we will return next year. I don't know. I'm just... Probably. Yeah. Something like that.
bridge nav. One zero zero one three zero, please. Thank you. Last time for this expedition, not the year. <laughs> 